And we're live. Welcome to the 10th sprint review of the common stack. This one is called Seven Chakras. Apparently there's more than that, but we only have seven people on our team and we are each holding one down. So uh, that's all we got right now. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Grow the team. Uh, we're in, this, in these calls, we review the work of the last 10 weeks and, or sorry, the last two weeks. And uh, so I had to turn, turn things, too many things going on. Uh, so we review the, we review everything that's been happening in the last two weeks to show you guys, hey, we're working, we swear, like donate to us, promise. Uh, it, it goes to good places, we do stuff. Uh, so let me start here by sharing my screen. Uh, the stuff that I was working on this week, at least, was getting that conviction voting uh, app back up. We wrote a blog post, refreshed it. Thank you, Jess, for the recommendation. Uh, same memes though, different blog posts, same memes. Uh, we've raised over 75,000 in the last Gitcoin rounds uh, just through PAN alone. And we've raised more than that, of course, through uh, Gitcoin. And the Gitcoin round is up. I'll let Jess talk about Gitcoin a lot, but uh, we have this uh, Gitcoin grant that collects funds specifically in PAN. And that those funds get matched about, you know, up to 20X if we get a lot of PAN. So uh, please be uh, lavish with your Panvala tokens and send them all, all this way. Uh, what's really cool though, is that we don't get that money. That money could, it could go to us right now, actually give it as number one on the list. Um, but the idea is that the trusted seed with your C stack tokens actually use, gets to play with conviction voting and, you, and uh, support your favorite grants. Crypto.com right now, uh, or it's early, but giveth.io is number one. They'll get the most funds. Uh, Crypto Commons Gathering is number two, and we're number three. Come vote for us, guys. Vote for us. It's our grant. Come on. Uh, but it's really cool because uh, with this, with this, with the money that's raised in this grant, we actually uh, it doesn't just all go to first place. The first goal is to make sure that the top fifteen grants all receive up to a thousand dollars, even if they only received twenty dollars in the grant. We give them an extra push so that everyone who the trusted seed loves gets at least a thousand dollars and then of course it's split uh as we go and uh we another cool thing that happened this week is that uh, i started making pull apps it was really fun and easy uh in case you ever want to you can just go to app.poap.xy slash admin and make one it takes about a week to get all the pull apps sent to you but uh it's really easy you just need a picture and a description uh, and this is for all the common simulator contributors uh, of which I was one. And so I'll probably uh, get to display my NFT, which is super cool. Another big action that happened this month is we did the budget and uh, thank you Ivy so much for your help on the budget. Uh, we uh, didn't do the budget last month because we were just making so much money, it didn't matter. Uh, and it's really good. Uh, it's really good in crypto bull market. Um, we, in the last two months, we had about $80,000 in expenses, uh, as mostly paying our salaries and the salaries of the trusted seed, uh, or sorry, not the trusted seed, but the, the major contributors to the token engineering commons. A lot of them actually get funded through the common stack. And uh, we received $26,000. Oh, the other thing with the expenses is that all the scholarships also count as expenses now. So we started doing the trusted seed scholarships and that added to the, the expenses. I couldn't completely calculate the expenses for February yet, but uh, so it's still an estimate, but I think 80K is pretty close. Uh, we received $26,000 in donations. This is a major up, uh, pickup in February because of our trusted seed memberships, which only soft launched in February, but we raised $20,000 in February, about half of that coming from scholarships. So very cool. Uh, and, or, but of course, sorry, not scholarships, half of that coming from memberships, people paying membership dues. And then, uh, but a lot of those ended up being scholarships too. So it goes both ways. Uh, and, but on the crypto market in the last two months, we made $150,000, which is pretty wild. Uh, we had, we had a really cool new system that is also adding to our budget, which is the stake social in the last in less than two weeks, we earned eighteen hundred dollars uh, without a single, without anyone having to sacrifice. 
It's a super cool project. Oh, and by the way, before I go to Stake Social, we may, we're we almost to the end of the year uh, at our projected rates right now uh, because I'm, I'm kicking up the estimated donations to 15,000 uh, for because of the Swiss membership uh, um, donations. Uh, but under these projections, we're gonna make it to the end of the year, guys. Woo! Uh, that's, that's great news. Um, yeah, and Stake Social. This is another really cool funding stream that the Common Stack just put together. And uh, you can actually stake dev tokens. We've earned, I mean, actually, I just did this. Let's see how much we've earned in the last like two hours. Uh, we earned two dev already in, in about two hours. So, I mean, this is insane. You can actually just stake dev tokens here at Stake Social. And when you stake it, you earn 48% uh, and we earn 50% APY on the funds that you stake. And also the Stake Social platform earns like one and a half percent or something like that. So they're giving away amazing, uh, it's, you make money, we make money. It's a, it's a beautiful win. Uh, so don't forget to support us there. And with that, I'll pass it to Tamara. Cool. And I'm going to share my screen. Awesome. Cool. Well, if you're watching this, you're likely already trusted seed. So I have two updates that I think you're going to care about. The first is the Swiss membership DAP is alive and accepting new members. We had a soft launch uh, last sprint, but now we're, we're having a harder launch. Um, the lead dev spawn it is, um, Wait, am I sharing just the, yes, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, there's a YouTube video on our uh, Commons Stack YouTube channel. Uh, the lead dev spawn it is published this very silk voiced explainer video on how to apply for the Swiss membership. Um, if you're not part of Trusted Seed, how to apply to for Trusted Seed. And he also talks about how to apply for a scholarship because anyone that needs one should apply for one and will get it. Uh, just go to member.commonstack.foundation and apply for your trusted for your to apply to activate your trusted seed score. And um, the other thing I want to talk about is um, the TEC and the Hatcher Outreach Working Group. So the Hatch Outreach Working Group has been heads down talking to as many people as we can one on one with, explaining how the TEC Hatch process will work, uh, what the requirements are to become a Hatcher, and what, uh, what, what the TEC is looking for in terms of good Hatchers. We already have 40 soft commits and we have a soft commit total of $182,000 or DAI. And um, I wanna say big thanks to Jake and Eduardo, Livia, Griff for getting us here. Um, there's also one thing that's coming together really nicely. It's the TEC handbook on Gitbook, which Livia will talk more about later. Uh, Nate and Mitch especially put a lot of work into this. Livia put a lot of work into this to have a lot more information um, other than our one-on-one -on -one sessions where we're speaking to people individually. The TEC Hatch Outreach Group has a weekly Hatcher AMA. It's on our Discord channel, the T, the, it's on the TEC Discord channel. It's a Thursday at 1 p.m. CET. And please join us if you have any questions at all. There will be people there specifically to answer questions around the TEC Hatch. And, uh, you know, it's always hard to say goodbye to a sprint, especially for me. But um, Monday, we'll be planning our new sprint. So do come to our Zen Hub board, uh, select the milestone. Next week, it'll be sprint 11. And you can see everything that's on our plate for the next sprint. And with no further ado, I pass to Livia. Thanks, Tim. Um, sharing. So super exciting this week. It was the last session of Graviton training. Um, big, big praise to Juan for organizing all of this, preparing all of the sessions and delivering in a beautiful way. It was very special to have space to talk about um, more um, soft uh, uh, relationships um, understandings rather than very logical uh, jumping into issues 
uh, many of the things that we do on a daily basis and sometimes we don't have space to look into our relational fabric. So this was an amazing opportunity to do that. And the first, um, the first group of gravitons are now um, formed and we'll have, we'll have continuous trainings with them. Uh, with the gravity working group. So next week, in the same time as Graviton, that it's right after our community call, we'll have um, the first meeting of all the Gravitons and understanding how this will shape the conflict resolution uh, mechanisms of our community. And uh, the people who are the Gravitons are the ones that gather all the POAPs uh, from coming to the sessions. So there are six follow-ups in total from the eight sessions. And if you have up to four, you can apply to be a Graviton and join us. And we also have some proposals. So this one is uh, the mutual, mutual accountability measures. That is the fourth principle from Ostrom. Uh, really amazing work being done by Zeptimus, Ivy, uh, Juan Carlos and I and uh, many other contributors to understand what are the accountability methods we have in the community. So here uh, we listed them and this proposal is up for voting in the forum. So there are only two votes. If you want to contribute with our voting session, please uh, read and drop your vote in there. The voting sessions always close on Monday. They open on Friday and close on Monday. So we have this period of the weekend to check the forum, see if there's any proposals up for voting. Last week, we approved uh, the source grad committee proposal that um, is bringing a committee to make most of the source grad decisions. So it's, uh, it's very important that this is a safe space because in source grad, we're, we're moving and we are dealing with people's contributions and how people are being rewarded. So it's important that this is done uh, by very trusted members of the community in a safe way. And of course, it's all transparent and you can, you can read more details about how we're uh, planning to do that here in this proposal. And also another really cool thing in the decision-making process is disputable voting. That was a major upgrade from uh, the one hive team that it's being brought to us that it's basically an upgraded version of dandelion voting. So in disputable voting, you can uh, dispute decisions. So if someone submits, submits a proposal that uh, seems challenging, that doesn't seem like right with our values, you can challenge this proposal. And, and a few actions can happen from, uh, from the moment that a proposal is challenged to it being um, to it being um, oh how sorry one second um, yeah the proposal can be withdrawn by the proposer uh, the proposer can uh, find an agreement with the challenger and if agreements are in uh, reached this proposal can uh, go to a court that is Celeste. And Celeste, we haven't decided yet if we're going to use it or not, but this is going to go to a community voting that will also uh, talk about it and you'll be able to vote if we're going to use Celeste or not. Um, but other two features of disputable voting is um, delegating votes that it's super cool for the DAO space. It's a major upgrade. And also uh, there's a quiet ending feature that if a proposal flips the decision in the last minute, the, there is a period uh, to extend the time for that proposal. So more people have time to look into it. Um, and finally, our, our handbook that it's coming together through many, many hands. And uh, here we'll have um, an overall perspective of what is the TEC. And in this section, we can find all of the agreements. Uh, the agreements are basically our boundaries and rules. So you can understand what are the actions that can be taken in each one of the mediums that we have. Uh, so any questions anyone has about how uh, 
about what is the TC, how we work together, what are the agreements that were already made, you can check in here. This is still work in progress, but it's going to be um, ready very soon. And I will pass to Chris. All right. So I'm just going to share my screen as well here. Um, so yeah, be basically this uh, this sprint uh, is a little lower key in terms of output content for me, uh, but there's a few different uh, content pieces that are coming forward. Uh, they're just on the edge of being published. So one is, uh, as Tamara mentioned earlier, we've uh, moved forward with the membership DAP and it is operational. It has soft launched. Um, we've been kind of Making, making small improvements uh, as we go to try and make things smooth for our full launch. Um, part of that has also been including uh, creating a little explainer. So this, this blog post that we're, is imminently being uh, published should walk you through a little bit of why the DAP is cool, what, uh, what might make you want to join it, how to use it. It's got a little explainer video that we uh, from Spawnet that we uh, previewed a little while ago and a few of the benefits for joining, um, as well as a link to how you can get a scholarship. There's also a separate scholarship post. So that walks you through the entire scholarship uh, process. And uh, like we said, uh, if you, for some reason, uh, feel that the membership dues uh, are going to cause you some issue, um, whether that's you can't afford it, whether there's some, some other reason that, uh, that it's an issue, uh, we'd still love to have you on board. So definitely make sure you apply for a scholarship. Um, we don't want it to be a real blocker to people joining the association. So get in touch if, if that's an issue for you. Um, we uh, have also been continuing our move to Discord. If you haven't joined us there, uh, please jump in. Um, we, yeah, we are getting a little more organized there starting to move a lot of our processes there. A lot of our praising is happening there now. Um, and if you join, we'll praise you even just for joining and you'll have a little bit of C-Stack ready for when you join our association. Um, the other thing that is coming up, well, is currently underway is uh, MetaFest. So MetaGame, one of our partners, uh, is doing a longer uh conference and I believe they have some some hackathon and contest type stuff going on here and there as well so definitely make sure you check that out uh, it, it started uh, I believe the start of this week and it goes until the until April 4th so it's quite quite an extended period of time that you can check out all kinds of cool content going there um, speaking of cool content we have several uh, several members that are related to either the common stack or the TEC that are presenting awesome uh, materials at metafest so Griff will be common Griff will be presenting on the common stack specifically uh, I will be talking about uh, crypto and social stuff, uh, specifically uh, on uh, yeah, social social impacts and things like social uh, common stack and metagame and how they contribute to the overall uh, space, uh, the blockchain space. Uh, Jess is doing uh, a talk on Rainbow Warrior. She may be able to give you a little more detail on that. Uh, Jeff is doing a talk on challenges and approaches to scaling the global commons with Felix. If you haven't seen Felix's work, he's doing a lot of great work uh, examining our, our uh, work here at the Common Stack from an academic lens. Uh, Juan is doing a workshop on Graviton training and conflict transformation, which you also just heard from Livia. Is, she's doing great work throughout uh, our space as well. Uh, Shebnem and Metaverde also have uh, presentations that we are aware of, but we don't know quite what they're presenting on yet. So make sure you tune in and check them out. Uh, we've got, yeah, many, many amazing contributors in our space. Uh, and the more that you're exposed to them, the more, the better off you'll be. At least that's what we think. Um, yeah, so if there's, uh, the other thing is make sure uh, to watch our announcements uh, channels in our Discord, as well as the metagame announcements channels for announcements on content um, or any other fun things that are happening there. 
Um, the only other thing is uh, I'd like to give a little shout out to Nate uh, for joining our communications call. Uh, if you, if anyone is interested in helping us with communications, anyone interested in uh, have some awesome distribution plans or anything else that you'd like to um, jump in and help us with on communications, we have a, a weekly call on Tuesdays. It's on our shared calendar. Um, it's open to contributors, um, so we'd encourage you to join if you have an interest in that. Um, and with that, I will pass it to Jess. Thanks, Chris. So yeah, about Manifest, uh, actually, Peth went ahead from Metagame and named my talk for me, uh, but I guess a little more specific topic is going to be a talk on conscious decentralization, navigating new economic paradigms, and uh, reprogramming value flows for public goods. So I hope to see you there. And of course, watch out for our Twitter and everything announcing those days and times. So with that, I'm gonna share some, I've been, I feel like a groundhog. I'm kind of like heads down and heads up at the same time. It's been a really busy week and it's all for good because uh, a lot of my work this week has been focused on supporting the community fundraise. So kicking off Bitcoin grants round nine, which Griff mentioned, and we have this tweet thread where we've pulled um, a lot of our ecosystems friends grants and yeah, just supporting the incredible impact projects and open source heroes in our communities. So the more we band together, the more we can raise to support the whole community and the ecosystem. So uh, Gitcoin is offering 500K and matching this round, which is incredible. So if you want to know where should I donate? Um, of course, the comment stack, we're very you know, grateful to support our um, project to keep going. We've already raised 10K so far and it's only been open for two days. So it's wild how generous our community is. But of course we wanna spread and, and share that love with other projects we've got. Got, um, uh, to the Common Simulator, CAD CAD. We've got the Token Engineering Academy, Crypto Commons Gathering. So just check out this tweet thread, Hitchhiker's Guide to Token Engineering, and our buddies at Bloom Network. Please share the love. Um, we're grateful, but we would love to also support other projects in our community. And then uh, Griff also mentioned uh, conviction voting. So if you have a project that needs funding, if you want promotion for that, um, you can reach out to me or better yet, submit to our common stack conviction voting that Griff showed off. And if you have no idea what that is or how to use it, please go to our Twitter. I crafted uh, a kind of like notes of all, everything you need to know in one tweet thread of how to participate. You can see here, we have our heroes gathered that are working together. So just check out this thread. Whenever I see Crystal for a walk and I get happy, it'll be worth your while. Go there and check it out. Another fun thing that we're releasing I can't get over it. We have so much awesome stuff going on in this sprint is uh, I, we're about to release the Trusted Seed Spotlight number four. It's kind of already been released, but we'll be doing an official release, but um, definitely want to check that out. He's got a new book out called uh, Hope Runners of Gridlock, and you can hear a little bit more about his creative process and what inspired the book. And there's a really cool artist you can see that made an NFT um, it's fantastic. It's kind of like a dystopian sci-fi future novel mixed with radical markets. So it's super innovative, really rad. And I consider Simon one of the most out of the box thinkers in our community. So you can hear, he shares, I said, Simon, how do you do it? How do you keep delivering, you know, and innovating? And so he shares a bit about his creative process and how he approaches challenges and, and what, makes, what makes him tick and, and how he's been able to pioneer so many new paths so it's really really um, cool interview and 20 minutes so a nice weekend watch for you another piece uh, i published last week was wielding promethean fire and talking about the importance of te public goods and um, why with the token engineering commons the work there is so important in getting all of these um, kind of design pieces and Legos and open libraries and huge shout out to Jeff, Griff and Chris, also for Simon, um, Zargum, Trent, Angela, Shebnam and Livia as well for all of the ideas that they share that contributed to this piece. Um, the next thing is TEC. We always have our news blog coming out to every two weeks. I know it's a lot to keep up with so you can come here. It's just a five minute read. We've got emojis mapping out for you so you can check out what is the latest and greatest. And we always have cool art coming out of the community as well. So uh, check out Twitter if you haven't. And of course, our TEC Discord, we migrated. We're in, it, we've kind of had a mitosis, uh, evolutional 
blo new blob form <laughs> for uh, TEC Discord now. Um, we still maintain, you know, bridges to TE Discord and are grateful for starting there, but we just wanted to carve out a new space here. So come and jump in and join. You can submit a guest blog and hang out with us. And we have also launched um, our Token Engineering Commons website. So uh, it's got all the information in one place that you need to know, kind of like our calling card. Uh, check it out. It's pretty cool. Huge shout out to Marco, Blair, Rosa, and uh, all the others who contributed to getting this out there to share with the community so they can navigate their way uh, through all the different things going on there. And the last mention is POEP. In case you don't know what it is, because we mentioned it a few times, it's a really cool site. Proof of attendance. You can create it for your project and some of the events you have going on. Fun thing to show off. I've got the gravity training to become a graviton and the common simulator. And I tried my hand at making a first one for One Hive Luna Swarm. It was a research uh, collaboration with One Hive and Block Science and Common Stack modeling honey issuance. So looking at the modeling of token issuance policy, the first time that's ever happened and the first time that that research has fed back into the system. So with that, I will pass it off to Jeff. Nice. Nice. Okay, cool. Let me share my screen here quickly. Um, just a quick recap of a couple of the pieces that have come out in this sprint. Um, so speaking of Gitcoin grants, it's currently ongoing. Um, the prime uh, mechanism behind Gitcoin grants is quadratic funding. Uh, so we've actually been doing some very interesting uh, kind of parallel research uh, to on, into how to attack and defend quadratic funding. So this is a, an open science initiative between uh, Block Science, Gitcoin, CADCAD, the Token Engineering Academy, and the Token Engineering Commons. Really exciting uh, kind of community grassroots exploration into quadratic funding. Um, there is also a surprising number of mathematicians, data scientists, academics all jumping into this. So really exciting stuff to see um, kind of this community-based um, collaboration or collusion research, um, even going so far as to inject attack vectors into the existing Gitcoin data and then testing these new data science tools. There's something called the, the optimality gap, which you can read more about in this article. Um, and it basically tries to determine how much, how effective a, a grant is at uh, allocating matching funds and using that as a, a heuristic to detect collusion in, in Gitcoin grants. Um, so some really neat uh, data science stuff going. Um, yeah, and really want to give a shout out to uh, Danilo, Jaja, uh, Michael Zargam, Owaki, um, Jess, um, uh, Angela, Sean, um, everyone who's who's carrying this forward. Really interesting initiative and uh, really cool open science initiative. So all of this is you know, open publicly available building blocks to do this kind of uh, computational research into these, um, you know, algorithmic governance policy systems that we're working on. Another really exciting um, piece coming out, actually I'm just submitted to publication, we're waiting for final submission, uh, exploring DAO to DAO collaboration. Um, this is a, an initiative with uh, Prime DAO, Curve Labs, Block Science, uh, Token Kitchen, um, definitely lots of praise for Jem, uh, Max Hampshire, Sherman, Zargam, um, Adaberg, um, Curve Labs, yeah, the whole, the whole crew. Some really interesting stuff going on here as well. Um, I just wanted to give a, a particular shout out. A lot of this stuff we've kind of talked about in the context of the common stack in the past. Um, the Giveth proposal engine was sort of a way that multiple DAOs could collaborate on proposals. Um, so some of the tools being discussed in here um, currently where it's going under the name Proposal Inverter, but it allows hopefully a bunch of DAOs to collaborate. So we've got the token engineering comments here, Prime DAO, for example, could collaborate on a pool of funds that could fund uh, these kind of trusted contributors down at the bottom here. And I wonder if you recognize any of those folks, but um, yeah, really interesting primitives going on and uh, new stuff being developed. Um, we kind of have this, this, these levels of uh, the, the functionality primitive stacks that we're creating a new mechanism. So some interesting stuff in here, definitely come, come check this out. Um, and some really interesting stuff on the Curve Lab side as well. They're looking at the Gnosis uh, conditional tokens framework to create uh, mechanisms for uh, DAO to DAO collaborations, joint ventures, token swaps, all that kind of stuff. So some really interesting stuff in here uh, and we'll be sure to, to link down below so you can click through and, and read all about it. 
um, yeah, lots of really cool stuff going on on these uh, research collaborations and uh, excited to share more as it comes up. Uh, but for the rest of this call, I will pass to Dan. Hello. I actually cannot share my screen, but, <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and keep it brief. Basically, this week has been a bit crazy for me. I had a security issue on my side and my laptop blew up. So yeah, kind of a crazy week anyway. <laughs> but anyway, try to keep it forward. We actually managed to have the Trusted Seed applications uh, go forward. So 25 people successfully applied to the Trusted Seed journey. So this is basically applying the assessment of their applications and getting their email. So what is happening here? So basically you get your email and you can contribute time. So, you know, skin in the game. Uh, you can actually right now, because the, the Swiss membership tab is live, you can just go ahead and activate your trusted seed SISTA score. So that's, that's beautiful. I mean, you can actually jump into the game and activate your trusted seed. Uh, so we are almost there in closing the loop in terms of the process. So every, all of you get notifications on when this SISTA score is increased. You know, I got some praise a couple of months back, maybe last month I did this, I did that. What is that praise? So basically the loop is going to close very soon and these notifications are going to start uh, going out to you guys. So I'm very happy about that. It's almost there. <laughs> But yeah, it has been it has been very tricky. And um, there's just as well, I just got very excited when I jumped in this call with the rest of the team and know that the TEC website is actually live. So because we had a campaign prepared to, you know, just to what is all of this? Because not everybody sees the review, not everybody's acting in all the channels. Uh, but yeah, you had applied since 2019, people have been applying. So that's yeah, basically just notifying you guys that well, it's time to activate the trusted seat. And this is the first hatch coming up. So yeah, that campaign is ready. That campaign uh, shall be going out uh, next week. And what else is there? Well, uh, a lot of people have been asking questions. How do I contribute? Uh, where do I go from here? I just got into this channel. What can I do? So I've been chatting with, uh, with a couple of people that, that want to help out a little bit on that. Um, we've been scaffolding what, what what could be the shape of having a small call just to have that that conversation? Because I had beautiful conversations with you guys. Uh, I yeah yeah, so many beautiful conversations. Anyway, I, I don't even log them anywhere. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I just want to say a great shout out to Deep Root and Reos, for example, that I had like one hour conversations during the last the past week. And but yeah, we need to make this is more efficient for all of you so I uh, I can answer some questions and if I don't know something I can chat with the team and we can find a solution or maybe it's something we can co build and this is a way you can contribute some more time so basically we are preparing a, a, a small call to a, a small gathering for this kind of conversations to happen ideally that will happen next week and ideally I will be sharing this with you guys as I share the review <laughs> so that's that's what I aim for but this is a space just basically just to shout out as well to adding value across the community journey towards activating your trusted seat so you don't feel like oh my god but what happens if I don't know for any reason I don't want to apply to the to pay my dues for the Swiss membership well the idea is that we can now add value all across the board and we're inviting you to have this conversation. So that's it for me and I'll pass it back to Griff. Go channel. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching this. If you watch it all the way through, you're a hero. You deserve praise. You should tell us you watched it all the way through uh, and we will praise you because uh, there's so much, going, so much going on and it's hard to keep it all really compact. Uh, but thank you for following along and we'll see you in two weeks.